Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a 7th round mock draft, and today I'll be doing it for the Detroit Lions. So, let's get into the video. Detroit Lions picking number 7. I say this every video, but I'm not controlling the simulation, so I can't control for Zach Wilson following to us. There's nothing I can do about that. I think if Zach Wilson falls to us, I know we have um, Jared Goff, but come on, Zach Wilson's not going to be there at 7. I think very, very smart move for the Lions is go Jamar Chase, wide receiver, out of LSU. I think especially after losing Kenny Galladay, Detroit needs a number one really good receiver. Jamar Chase is the best receiver in the draft, in my opinion. I think he would be a very, very good fit in Detroit. I can already see it now. Some of the comments being like, why don't you take Zach Wilson? Because I can't control the draft. Zach Wilson is not going to be there at number seven. He's either going number two to the Jets or number four to the Falcons, in my opinion, or someone trades up. I don't think he falls to number seven. Next up, pick 41. Honestly, I really like the fit of getting another cornerback. They got Jeff Okuda last year, but to be quite honest with you, they need another corner to help him out. And I think that Greg Newsom II, who I also picked for my Giants mock draft as well, I think Greg Newsom would be a very, very good player to go to Detroit at pick 41. So we got Jamar Chase so far and Greg Newsom. Very good in my opinion. I do not want to go Zach Wilson because I do not think it is realistic. I don't want to hear it. If Zach Wilson is there real night on the draft then you know what? The Detroit would be stupid, honestly, not to take Zach Wilson if he's there. But I do not think he will be there. Okay, pick 72. Could go linebacker Dylan Moses. I think that would be a good fit. Tight end Brevin Jordan would be good, especially considering they just cut uh, Jesse James. But I believe they have TJ Hawkinson, so they don't need to do that. Don't need to go wide receiver again, I don't think. They could go edge Rashad Weaver, but Dylan Raduns. Tackle North Dakota State. Help out Jared Goff every possible way you can. Get him a good receiver. Get him a good tackle. I think that is a very strong value pick. So now we are going through the rest of the third round. Coming up to our pick in the fourth round, I believe. I think we have a fourth round pick. Ugh, gotta drink that H2O. Uh, <laughs> oh no, we have another pick actually in the third round. Pick 101. Okay. I can see it on the board now. Amari Rogers is here. Dynami Brown's here. Linebacker Cameron McGrone out of Michigan's here. Detroit's in Michigan. The Michigan Michigan connection. I'm really, really tempted. I'm really tempted to do that. But Amari Rogers being here. You can go Jamar Chase and Amari Rogers. Build up the wide receiving core. I think we have to do it. I really, I'm really considering Cameron McGrone, who just goes to the Rams. But if you can fix your wide receiver group now, I think it's a good idea to do. Now, next pick, we could go, we could go tight end Tommy Trembell, honestly, to pair up behind T.J. Hawkinson. We could do that, or. We could go quarterback Kellen Mond. And here's my reasoning. We could go him to put behind Jared Goff. Because Kellen Mond has a lot of potential. A ton of potential. And it could maybe try to develop it behind Jared Goff for a year or two. And see if you can get something from him. And I'm going to do that. I never really considered Kellen Mond going to Detroit at pick 112. But I think that Jared Goff is the quarterback in Detroit for at least one, maybe two years. Give Kellen Mond two years to develop. See what he can do. He is incredibly raw as a quarterback. But he has all the traits and all the intangibles to be a star quarterback in the NFL. And Detroit, moving on from Matthew Stafford, bringing in Jared Goff, who I think is a very good quarterback. I don't know if he's your franchise answer, but... Why not draft a guy in the fourth round, take a flyer, see maybe if he is. So I think that is a very solid pick. Pick 153. 
Chubba Hubbard, running back, Oklahoma State. They have carry on Johnson. They have someone else that I can't think of. So they don't really need running back. We could go center, Michael Manette. We could go guard, Aaron Banks, actually, as well. I like the idea of going Aaron Banks. I just think that new coaching staff, new quarterback, get a tackle, get a guard, get some receivers. Do what you can to help build up the O-line for Jared Goff. And then if Jared Goff gets hurt or you go to Kellen Mond in a year or two, maybe Kellen Mond will get to practice with these guys you draft. So your future quarterback, your quarterback of the future might begin to practice with his future O-line of the future as well. So, and the fifth round, really good value. We are coming up in the sixth round. Don't know if we have a pick, actually. Not seeing one if we do. So we might not have a sixth round pick. Um, yeah, I don't think we do. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to simulate through the sixth round. Just going to wait till our seventh round pick. Detroit, I don't think we take a quarterback round one because I think you don't make that Jared Goff trade for Matthew Stafford if you plan to take a quarterback with Jared Goff's salary. I think it'd be more smart for Detroit to build the team around Jared Goff for now. And then if Jared Goff's not the answer in a year or two, Kellen Mond could take over or they draft the quarterback that year's draft in round one. Get your guy. You already have the roster foundation in place. So should be coming up on our pick, unless we don't have a seven-round pick either. We actually might not have a seven-round pick because we're not seeing one. Okay. So I think that's going to do it for this draft. Rather quick one, actually. But, uh, yeah, that's our that's the draft. We don't have any more picks. Okay. So, in a second, we'll do a recap. We picked Jamar Chase, wide receiver out of LSU, at pick number seven. Greg Newsom, cornerback out of Northwestern at 41. Dylan Raduns, offensive tackle, pick 72 in the third round. Amari Rogers, wide receiver out of Clemson, 101 in the third round. Quarterback Kellen Mond at pick 112 in the fourth round, potential quarterback of the future for Detroit. And guard Aaron Banks, offensive guard, Notre Dame, pick 153. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, tap the bell icon so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.